in the world? What in, what in the world? Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourites. Um, I will be doing it monthly favourites or I'll try to be doing monthly favourites after this. But I thought I would just show you guys where I'm at right now with my favourites. So sorry guys, but I have a confession to make. Um, this video was supposed to be a favourites video, but my camera decided to have a spaz and only filmed the beauty part. So I improvised and called it my favourite beauty products. But I hope you guys like it nonetheless and enjoy. Just, just, whatever. Let's, let's get excited. Why are my arms going up? This is my favourite foundation of all time. I have not tried that many foundations, but I cannot imagine unless it was like a really high-end foundation, that there would be a better one than this one. It is Rimmel Wake Me Up um, foundation. It does exactly that. It wakes you up and it makes you look really like glowing and beautiful. Because I stay up too late watching YouTube videos, so when I get up in the morning, I definitely need to wake me up. Otherwise, I look like this. <laughs> so, loving that. Next one you have seen in a lot of my makeup tutorial videos, and I wear it like all the time, is my um, Benefit What's Up highlighter. It's just like a shimmery sort of champagne sort of uh, highlighter, and it's got a little brushy thing on the end to blend it in. Yeah, and I put this in my inner corners. I like it in my inner corners the best, but you can put it on your brows and cheekbones. Yeah. So that's great. This one you have also seen in a lot of my makeup videos. Hula by Benefit. This is a matte bronzer. It's good for people that are pale, um, <laughs> like me. I probably don't look that pale like in this light or like like because the camera's making tricks. Yeah, I am pale. <laughs> Yeah, so it's really good. It doesn't overpower your, your face. Like, you can, like, load it up, like, real good. And you can, like, still, like, blend it out. And it's really good for building. And all the great stuff that a bro bronzer... Blah, blah, blah. What was that? A bronzer should have. Someone watching me. Is that my dad? Hey, dad. You can't see me. <laughs> Is this my favourite mascara I've ever tried? I've tried... Oh. I think about five mascaras in my lifetime, completely estimated, I can literally not remember. Um, and this is my favourite one I've ever used. It is Full and Soft Mascara Hydro Fudge. It's by Maybelline New York. I'm wearing it right now. And it is um, a like a brush applicator, it's not um, plastic, which I really like. The reason that it works so good um, as a mascara, I think, is because it is a wet um, formula. Yeah, and it is waterproof, and it literally does not smudge at all. It's great, and it like holds the curl, and it does everything that you want a mascara to do. It is the perfect mascara, in my opinion. Like, if you are looking for a good mascara, I highly, 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 you have, <laughs> I highly recommend this. Get it. The next one is um, Benefit Gimme Brow. This is a tinted brow gel. That's right. Brow gel? I think so. Yeah, it's just a little tiny brush. I'm not big on filling in my brows because I find they don't really, like, they don't really need it that much. And then I'm done. So that stuff is great if you've got full brows. Okay, the next one is a primer. It is The Poor Professional by Benefit. So many things by Benefit in this video. I love Benefit. Although in Australia it is quite expensive and really hard to get because it's only in like big malls and things like that. Yeah, it makes your, your skin feel like silk and it makes the foundation go on a lot easier and stay obviously because that's what a primer does. Um, and it literally takes your pores away. Like just like it fills them up and you can't see them at all. And it's, that, it's just great. It's just great. It's a great thing. Next is by Rimmel London again, um, and it is the Stay Matte, Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I don't want it to fall out. Um, there is a story behind this. I don't know if you guys would be bothered to hear it, but I'm going to tell you anyway, so I did it. Oh, yeah. 
So I had a factory bag. Um, I'm not sure if factory is a just an Australian brand, but anyway, I was in factory and I bought something from factory and then I put all my makeup things that I got from the drugstore in my factory bag and the factory bags, I said factory bag so many times, the factory bags are made of paper and the bottom's just like folded and because I had so much like makeup and I had like nail polish and like clothes and things like that in there, um, that the bottom just broke, like it just like collapsed and it smashed my Stay Mart powder and now it's like that and it's ridiculously hard to control when I take the lid off. <laughs> That's why it's cracked. Tags, tags. For the next one, um, this is my favourite moisturiser I have ever tried in my life. Um, you know how a lot of moisturizers when you put them on they don't really sink in and they kind of sit there and your face feels really like icky and like if it's like summer you feel like you don't want to put um, moisturizer on because it just makes your face you feel even more sticky. Well this stuff right here, Mugu, is the best moisturizer I've ever tried in my life. I'm pretty sure it is Australian brand. Yep, made in Australia. Woo! But anyway, as I was saying, it doesn't do the sticky thing and it soaks in like straight away and it's like, oh, it just feels so nice on your skin. And it has like little tiny sparkly, like it's sort of shimmery a bit. So if I was to do a like a no makeup makeup look and just not wear any foundation, this is the stuff I'd go for because it just like, it like makes you look more awake and if you're only wearing a moisturizer. It's, it's great. Um, yeah, so highly recommend that one. Last beauty product is um, this stuff. It is a gentle skin toner. Um, I do not use it that much because I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, when I do use it, I absolutely love it. Um, it has rose water and chamomile. It says, completes a perfect cleansing program by leaving skin smooth and satin soft. Satin smooth, ooh. And it reduces like puffiness, so if I was like, to wake up in the morning and my eyes are really puffy, I just like put that over my eyeballs and then just go and they'd be normal again. <laughs> Yay, this stuff is great. And it smells really good because it has um bruised water in it. Yes, I just got some on my lip. I can't imagine that's gonna taste very nice. Note to self, do not lick your lips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this really quick beauty favourites that I did for you. Subscribe, comment down below your beauty favourites, I would really like to know. And like if you like this video, it only makes sense. And I'll see you guys next time I make a video. Bye bye. It is the poor black <laughs> I just dropped it. <laughs> Benefit that much. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, my eyeballs are watering. Oh, okay. I didn't even say what it was good about. What, what it was good about it.